Hey, we back. I'm here on Discord. I'm talking about a new Discord feature today. Not often we talk about new Discord features, but as Tog pointed out to me on my server, uh, recently they have added a new feature and it's related to bots. So it seems like a reasonable content for a video. Um, he's also been kind enough to give me uh, some early access to it because his server, being a bot server, did get the early access. And this is the new feature, the app directory. Uh, so if I click on this, in order to access this, you will need, um, I believe, manage server permissions on a server. Uh, so Tog has helpfully given me these so I can I can show you guys the features. But not to worry, they will be rolled out to all servers soon enough. So if you do have manage server permissions on any servers, you will soon have access to this. You might already have it, who knows? Um, but yeah, so this is basically a bot browsing bit of discord that now exists um it's as you would kind of expect it to be it's got you know bots all over the place with some you might recognize we've got dino here i know xenon you know it's, there's 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 quite a few um pretty pretty helpful bots here of course um there's probably going to be some sort of bias to which ones are shown at the top um but yeah there you go um we've got like filters and stuff there's a search bar and what this is basically doing um, is making it much easier, in, in theory, um, to add bots to your server, to find new bots, uh, to find bots that you want for a particular thing. Uh, it's worth noting that only verified bots are added to here, not just any old bot. Um, but this does mean at least it's going to be mostly reasonably popular bots. There's currently 2,290 bots on here. Um, and they seem to be roughly organized in popularity, like we've got Dino at the top there um, with the most and it kind of goes down, but as you can see it doesn't it doesn't necessarily go down, there's definitely a lot more than like five entertainment bots with more than 20,000 servers. Um, and not to mention Dino being in entertainment and not moderation. That seems a little weird, uh, but yeah anyway, I'm sure, I'm sure they can sort out things like this soon enough. Um, and like I say, you'll probably recognize a lot of these bots. Oh, Dino's in both. Yeah, sure, why not? Um, you'll probably recognize a lot of these bots. That's the whole point. Um, now, if you pay attention to Discord, you will know that this is very similar to the uh, server feature, Explore Public Servers, um, which is basically the same thing, but for servers, right? Um, if you scroll all the way to the bottom of your server list, you will find this here. Now, I've never heard about anyone using this or finding a server because of this. Um, I feel like it's a, a little useless. And the reason for that is not because the feature inherently is useless. It's because we have sites in order to do it for us, such as top gg uh, top.gg is a great site that uh, has been used for a good while and i think is what people actually use most of the time in order to find bots here is top.gg um, and as it says it has discord bots and servers which is which is pretty helpful um, their ranking is a lot more um, accurate you could say than the discord one uh, partly perhaps because it's just been running a long time but because also we've got like the voting here which is um, well accepted within the bot community and that works for servers as well um, it organizes them in in servers for the bots and in member count for the for the discord servers uh, I believe we also have the voting for these there you go um, and yeah I think when most people are looking for a server, they are more likely to turn to something like top.gg, which is much more recognized and has been used for a long time than the inbuilt Discord feature here. But it is nice that they have it inbuilt, um, and in theory, this could quite easily overtake um, the popularity of something like top.gg just because it is inbuilt and they can uh, they can organize it however they like you can use all the extra stats uh, the discord has access to and um, plus they have integration with things like student hubs which is something that top.gg can't do um, so yeah the uh, the the app the app directory is basically the same as that um, and it's reasonably helpful, potentially. Um, for now, like I say, top.gg is probably the way to go. Um, but this is pretty nice, and if you are uh, a server owner, perhaps, looking for some interesting bots to add, maybe you want some games, you can just click on here and, and add them very easily. You just click on it and it's going to have all the information, it's going to tell you the, the slash commands. This is another thing, that, see this is what I mean about um, 
uh, Discord using information that top.gg doesn't have access to, popular slash commands. That's something that they can actually uh, get stats on and measure, whereas top.gg can't do that. So as long as they implement more things like this that takes advantage of the information they have, it'll get better in the future. At the moment, there just isn't that much. Um, but yeah, there you go. And there's a, there's, there's a lot of information here on each bot. You can copy and invite link, add to server. And like I say, because it's all inbuilt, it makes it very easy to manage. So yeah, I would recommend having a look at this um, if you are a server owner or server moderator. At least when it, when, when it comes out, rolls out to all servers, it'll be doing that in the next couple of weeks. At the time of this video going up, I believe the feature will have been added two days ago, and it'll be rolling out over the next couple of weeks. So there is a chance that you have the feature unlocked already, you never know. Um, but yeah, I would recommend taking a look at it. There might be some bots that you've not heard of, but also I would recommend initially having a look at top.gg because it's probably more organized anyway for now for now we'll see what happens in the future and especially since we've got the the bot managers putting stuff like this out on the inbuilt features whereas they can't customize top.gg as much then uh, probably it's going to be more descriptive than top.gg or in fact any other external website anyway that's pretty much all i wanted to say today just letting you guys know that this feature exists now um you can you can you can take a look, see if you can find any cool bots that you might want to add to your server, uh, which is pretty nice. Um, and maybe just learn something something else about the bots that you already have. You never know. Uh, but anyway, I'm gonna end this video here. Bye.